Now, you're shooting an instrument approach. What do you have to have to land at the end of an instrument approach? You have to have three conditions all existing together. Number one, you have to have the runway or the runway environment in sight. Number two, you have to be in position for a normal approach and landing. No aerobatics allowed in order to get yourself lined up on final once you see the runway. And number three, as we said, the visibility has to be at least as good as the approach chart requires. And all three of those have to exist in order for you to land at the end of an instrument approach. So let's assume that you're shooting an ILS approach and at the end of the approach you do not have those three conditions. You do not have the airport inside or you're not in a position for a normal landing or the visibility doesn't meet what the approach chart requires. How exactly do you define your missed approach point when you're using a glide slope? Well, the missed approach point on any approach where you're flying a glide slope, such as an ILS approach, is the decision height, the D on that approach. That is your decision altitude because when you get to that altitude on the glide slope, you make a decision. Either you're legal to land or you're not legal to land. And if you're not legal to land, you immediately pull up and you start the missed approach. So if all of the ILS components are operating and the required visual references are not established, such as the approach lights or something like that, then the missed approach should be initiated when you arrive at your what on the glide slope? At your decision height on the glide slope. 